Hello and welcome to all the viewers. Today our subject of discussion is accountancy and we are going to deal with the chapters Fundamental of Partnership, Chapter 1 of Class 12th. Stay with me, learn with me. I am Preeti Sharma, PGT Commerce and find out what we are going to deal with today. Today we are going to deal with the topic Basics of Partnership under which we will discuss the meaning of partnership, features of partnership, partnership deed, rights of partners and provision affecting accounting treatment of partnership as well as we will also learn the preparation of P&L appropriation account. After the discussion you will be able to understand the basics of partnership as well as you will be able to understand the preparation of P&L appropriation account. So now we come to the meaning of partnership. Partnership it is a relationship between two or more persons who agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. That means to start the partnership, it is necessary to have two or more persons. Single person cannot start partnership firm. Again it is written who agreed to share the profits of the business. That means there must be some agreement. Agreement can be written or oral in which it is mentioned that all the partners will share the profits as well as losses of the business. The business which can be carried on by all the partners as well as any one of them can become the agent of the other partners. So it was about the meaning of the partnership. Now let us come to the features of partnership. The first feature of partnership is two or more persons. This we have already discussed under the partnership there must be at least two or more persons. Single person cannot start partnership firm. The second feature is agreement. This we have also discussed. There must be some agreement of the partnership. Agreement can be in oral or it can be in the form of writing. But it is always better to have a written agreement. The third feature of partnership is lawful business. Illegal business cannot be called partnership. Partnership business must be lawful under the eyes of the law. The fourth feature is profit sharing ratio. Under the partnership firm, all the partners must share future profit as well as losses. There is always certain ratio mentioned in the question in which all the partners will share the profit of the business. But if no ratio is mentioned in the question, then we will assume that all the partners will share profit and losses in equal. The last feature, business can be carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. That means all the partners can carry all the business as well as any one of the partner can become the agent of other partners and he can also carry on the business on behalf of the other partners. So this was about the meaning of partnership as well as the feature of partnership. Now let us move to the meaning of partnership deed. What is partnership deed? Partnership is established by the oral or written agreement. The written agreement is called partnership deed. We have already discussed that there must be some agreement between the partners. The agreement can be in the form of oral or it can be in the form of writing. But it is always better to have a written agreement. So the written agreement is called partnership deed. Partnership deed contains all the details like the name and address of the firm, principal place of the firm, nature of the firm, name and addresses of the partners, interest on drawing to be charged, interest on capital to be provided, interest on loan to be given to the partner as well as all necessary information is written under the partnership deed. Why all the information is written under the partnership deed? Because in case of dispute in future between the partners, they can have the proof in writing which can be shown as a better proof that it is written in the partnership deed. So this must be followed. Now let us move to the next topic which is very important from the point of view of accounting treatment of partnership. It is written provision affecting accounting treatment in the absence of partnership deed. Sometimes some points or some matters are not written under the partnership deed. So there is certain confusion which accounting treatment to be followed in that case. So 
the partnership act 1932 provides certain provision which have to be followed in the absence of partnership deed or we can say if partnership deed is silent then these provisions are followed the first provision is interest on capital if partnership deed is silent then no interest on capital is provided to the partners secondly interest on drawing if partnership deed is silent or absent so no interest on drawing will be charged from the partners third interest on loan interest on loan will always be paid to the partner at the rate of 6% per annum whether the partnership deed is silent or not if partnership deed is silent then also interest on loan will be paid to the partner at the rate of 6% per annum fourth salary or commission if it is mentioned in the question that partnership deed is silent or partnership deed is absent then no salary will be given to the partners or no commission will be given to the partner whether it is mentioned in the question or not last sharing profit and losses if partnership deed is absent or partnership deed is silent about the profit sharing ratio then we assume that all the partners will share the profit equally let us recall all these again first is interest on capital if partnership deed is absent then no interest on capital will be paid to the partners secondly interest on drawing interest on drawing will not be charged from the partners if partnership deed is absent third interest on loan interest on loan will always be paid at the rate of 6% per annum if partnership deed is absent fourth no salary or commission will be paid to the partners and lastly sharing profit and losses if partnership deed is absent then we assume that all the partners will share profit equally so this was about the provision affecting accounting treatment in the absence of partnership deed and we have to see in all the question what is mentioned if partnership deed is silent then we have to follow these provision if partnership deed is present then we will solve the question according to the points given in the question so now let us come to the next topic that is the preparation of pnl appropriation account but before the preparation of pnl appropriation account it is necessary to understand the meaning of pnl appropriation account what is pnl appropriation account students in 11th class we have prepared the final accounts of sole proprietorship under which we have prepared the trading account pnl account and then balance sheet but in case of partnership firm a partnership firm prepares its final account starting with trading account then pnl account then pnl appropriation account capital account and then balance sheet so pnl appropriation account is prepared after the preparation of pnl account it is nothing but just an extinction of pnl account under pnl account we calculate net profit this net profit is transferred into the pnl appropriation account and under pnl appropriation account we just distribute this net profit so pnl appropriation account is nothing but it shows the distribution of net profit among various heads so now let us see its format under this format you can see on the credit side it is written by net profit and three points are deducted from the net profit first is interest on loan second is rent paid third is manager commission if these three points are mentioned in the question all these three points are deducted from the net profit now the question arises why these three points are deducted from the net profit because all these three points are the burden of net profit if we will not show these three points under pnl appropriation account then we have to prepare separately a pnl account under which we will show these three items and then we will calculate net profit so it is better to deduct these three points from net profit that is given on the credit side of pnl appropriation account after deducting these three points we will get the net profit and we will write this amount under the amount column the second point that is given on the credit side is by interest on drawing 
इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द फर्म इज लाइक अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ द फर्म दैट इज वाई इट इज गिवन ऑन द प्रॉफिट साइड वी विल कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग इफ इट इज मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू सर्टेन रूल्स विच वी विल डिस्कस लेटर ऑन वी विल कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग ऑन द पार्टनर्स सपोज देर आर टू पार्टनर्स ए एंड बी वी विल कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग एंड विल राइट द अमाउंट ऑन द अमाउंट कॉलम ऑन द डेबिट साइड we will just appropriate this net profit under various head the first head is interest on capital the first form of distribution of profit is interest on capital we we can distribute the net profit in the form of interest on capital if there are two partners then we will give interest on capital to these two two partners and there must be certain percentage will be given in the question the second form of distribution of net profit is partner salary oblique commission it can also mention in the question that provide salary or commission to the partner then from the net profit we will distribute salary and commission to the certain partner thirdly to reserve we can also distribute the certain percentage of net profit in the form of reserve from the credit side we can deduct all the debit points that is interest on capital partner salary and reserve the remaining balance will be transferred to the partner's capital account or current account which we will also discuss later on we will distribute the profit among a and b if there are two partners if there are three partners then we can transfer the profit between three partners like a b and c in certain ratio which will be mentioned in the question if no ratio will be mentioned in the question then we will distribute this profit equally so this was about the preparation of pnl appropriation account again we should recall some points under pnl appropriation account we are doing just the distribution of profit under various heads if it is mentioned in the question but if partnership deed is silent then there is no need to write interest on capital no need to write partner salary no need to write reserve and there is no need to write interest on drawing we will simply distribute the profit between the partners under the capital account or current account as mentioned in the question so today we have discussed the basics of partnership under which we have discussed the meaning of partnership features of partnership meaning of partnership deed and the provision affecting accounting treatment of partnership deed as well as we have also discussed the preparation of pnl appropriation account i hope you must have understood all the topics thank you have a nice day